Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I wanted to make up some of my pumpkin spice pancakes, so I thought I would show you how I do these. They're very easy, they're very tasty, and they are Weight Watcher friendly. So I thought I would just show you how easy these are to make and take you along with me as I make them. So let me show you real quick what the ingredients are that you're gonna need for these. Here I've got a half cup non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and then there is a half cup of plain pumpkin puree, two eggs, a quarter cup all-purpose flour, and then in here in my little Nutribullet, I put a cup of oats, just plain old rolled oats, and ground them up to make oat flour. It's really easy to do that. You could buy oat flour if you wanted, but I like just making my own. Super simple. In the Nutribullet. And here I've got a teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, a teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, and half teaspoon salt. You're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla. And for sweetener, I'm using three tablespoons of maple syrup. You could use a no calorie sweetener if you want. You could use sugar. You could use whatever you want for sweetener. And obviously, if you use no calorie instead of this, it's gonna make the points lower. I think I figured it and it's a point less with uh, no calorie sweetener. But as always, I don't really like to use the no calorie sweeteners if I can get away with it. So I'm gonna be using maple syrup to sweeten mine. You're also maybe gonna need a little bit of milk. Sometimes my batter is, is okay uh, consistency wise and sometimes it's a little bit thick. So if it's too thick, I will add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk. And then finally, you're gonna need some cooking spray. And that is it. First thing I'm gonna do is get a medium sized bowl here and Add in my eggs, half cup Greek yogurt, my pumpkin, teaspoon vanilla, and three tablespoons of maple syrup. Then I'm gonna just whisk all this together real well. Like that. And that smells so good. It smells like pumpkin pie right now. So I'm gonna set that aside and in a small bowl, I'm gonna take my oat flour, all-purpose flour, then I'm gonna add in my baking powder, baking soda, pumpkin pie spice, and salt, and stir that together real well. I'm gonna stir in my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. And this is what it's looking like. It's a little thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of milk, but again, that's kind of personal preference. All right, that's a little better. And over here, I've got a frying pan heated up on medium. I'm gonna spray it with a little cooking spray so these don't stick. And then I'm gonna take a quarter cup scoop and put some of these in here. I'm gonna just let those cook in there until I start to see little bubbles on the surface. All right, there's a couple little bubbles that have come up to the surface and popped and I can tell these are ready to flip because the edges are starting to look kind of dried out or cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. It's been about four minutes. And then I'm gonna just let them cook for another minute or two on that side. Okay, I let these cook about another minute. They are looking done. So I'm gonna take these off and do up the rest of them. Okay, and here they are. I've got them sprinkled with just a little bit of powdered sugar. I factor in actually for mine a tablespoon for all of them. So I can just sprinkle just a little bit of powdered sugar on them. I like the way it looks and I like the little added sweetness that it gives to these. 
but you could have these however you want to have them. Some sugar-free syrup would probably be good, but however you do it, you want to um, factor in extra points if you're using something like syrup. Again, I've got factored into mine a tablespoon of powdered sugar, and that doesn't change the points. It's still gonna be the same whether you have this or not. But anyway, the points on these are gonna be three points a piece. It makes nine total. And that is on green. I'm gonna to have to double check for blue and purple and see what they are on those. But three points a piece on green. And these are just very yummy. I love how they taste. And I like how easy they are to just kind of throw together too. Plus, my son loves them. So that's a win-win. But anyway, I thought I would just show you guys real quick these pumpkin spice pancakes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one. Let me show you real quick. I forgot to show you what these look like inside the texture. They are nice and light and fluffy. Hopefully that's picking up. But yeah, I just want to show you what they look like inside.